it was at the church that the wife practically saved that lady. The wife got to know that her husband was marrying another woman in Lagos. Hello there, good to you wherever you're watching from. Welcome to Sit With Follow. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button there. God bless you. Okay, so this is going to be a short video, hopefully. And please kindly share your advice. What do you think this person should do? I know that you are not in this position and may you never see this in your life. May I never see this too. But what do you think if you are in this type of situation, what are you going to do? And not that there are a lot of things that you need to consider. Okay, so the situation is, it was 31, she was 30 and they were both in love. Two weeks to the wedding, he found out she's 37. If you were in his shoes, what will you do? Okay, for the ladies watching, if you or your brothers, or maybe your best friend, your friend, your relatives, your cousin, someone that you know that you love is in this type of situation, what are you going to do and what are you going to tell them to do? And to the men watching this video, what are you going to do if you find out that your fiance has been lying to you she was supposed to be 30 but now she is 37 let me know what you would think but there is one question that i want to ask this person how fast can you run like it is not a matter of will you stay or will you run that is not my question but the question is how fast can you run you need to run away from the situation because let's say okay this is just a number let me marry her the most important thing is that trust has been broken in that relationship because the question is what is the assurance that after two weeks after one month after two months or even two years of marriage that you will not find out that she already had like two three kids somewhere before meeting you you know these things happen i can remember many years ago i read a story of a man that got married in a lorry he had a family in a lorry and somehow work took him to lagos and while in lagos he met someone a church girl that everybody loves so decent and this girl fell in love you know they started planning marriage and they were getting married it was at the church that the wife practically saved that lady because the wife got to know that her husband was marrying another woman in lagos and she left Ilori carrying her kids to lagos to the church and when she walked in the whole thing scattered now this happened that people leave their family and they move to another place and they keep this as a secret to the new person in their life so what is the assurance that this lady is not doing the same thing now the age is not even my problem there are people that get married to people older than, than them i mean there are men that actually find older women attractive they marry them and they are happy it's good but the problem is that this man this 31 year old man did not have a choice or he was not given the opportunity to make a choice to be with an older woman it was just like he was deceived into the relationship and into the planning of the whole wedding and also a relationship built on lies built on deceit cannot hold i believe that should be like common sense that should be like a standard like when you are hiding something that you know that your partner should know then it is important that you tell them before you start marriage preparation now in one of my videos on this channel i talked about this that it is important that you share things that you believe they should know and age how old you are your birthday these are the basic things that they should even know before you even consider marriage now why will you lie about something like your age you know there are people that marry older people because they fell in love with them and it's cool but when you lie about such things that means you are a sick as in you don't like the truth like you are a chronic liar now somebody said okay that she did that because she loved him and she did not want to lose him hello that is like witchcraft that is so 
selfishness of the highest order. That is a manipulating person. That is something that a manipulative person would do. Like that is manipulating somebody into falling in love with you. Because I'm sure that the young man, the 31 year old young man would have had a rethink if he wanted to marry a woman that is like six years older than him and he would have made his decision based on the truth the information that he had but somehow the opportunity to have this choice or the power of choice was taken from him because he fell in love with a liar so in case you are also planning to do the same thing or in case you have been hiding something it is better than that you tell now you will see that this young man is like in a very difficult situation two weeks to a wedding that means a lot of money have been spent informations have gone out maybe they've booked all they've bought clothes they've they've gotten a lot of things ready you know how african weddings can be maybe the everything on the bride price list have been bought they've settled everything now what they're waiting for is just to like finish one or two things and go on you know it's going to be very difficult for this young man to walk away from this relationship because his reputation is going to be at stake his finances is going to be at stake there are a lot of monies that they've spent that they will not be able to recoup but it is better it is better to walk away from that type of marriage from that type of relationship than to be there to stay there and to to live with somebody that deceived you into marriage how are you going to live every day of your life knowing that this person lied to you so much knowing that this person took you for a fool so like i said before the question i'll be asking this young man is how fast can you run if you can run so fast please run from that lady let her know let your family know let everybody know that you were deceived you are the victim you are the victim in this situation you are not the bad person she is so there is nothing to be ashamed of of course people are going to talk but after talking they are going to keep quiet and they are going to forget about you and you are going to meet somebody that is going to be truthful to you okay so thank you so much for watching this video till i come your way again this is sister for you and of course i am for you please subscribe to this channel and remember that jesus loves you passionately bye